Hello from One Marine, I'm Tiff Howie and today we're going to take a look at one of our latest listings. We're here in Albufeira Marina which is located central Algarve. Beautiful sunny day and we're about to take a look at an Alcoa Mystic 39. This particular boat's from 2007 in a great condition and you're going to see it's got the really typical classic Scandinavian design. So let's have a look firstly at the back. Nice big bathing platform, you can see tender on board there, so enough room to fit a tender and still get on and off uh, easily. Teak bathing platform as well as teak cockpit and lots of really useful storage built into the back as well there. And then when we walk on board, this area closes up to create a proper door and then the wood here folds over and the wood runs all along the side decks and to the front as well and it's just that really nice touch that gives this boat a little bit more luxury and a bit more of a, um, a classic boat feel. So then stepping on board over the rope there, walk into a really wide cockpit. And this is quite typical of Arcoa. They do build lovely cockpits and in keeping with the Scandinavian design, you've also got the galley fitted up here rather than taking space in the cabin below. So big C-shaped or L-shaped seat there, Another large U-shaped seat here with table for dining outside if you wish. You've also got a proper structure canopy and there's windows that go right the way around so you can just hunker down in here when the weather isn't so good. Moving forward further into the cockpit, so a little bit more detail on this galley. You've got uh, a cool box fitted here as well as a full refrigerator in there. Lots of storage here, uh, Panasonic combi oven there, uh, two burner hob there which is a piano and then a twin stainless steel sink here so sink there with running faucet and it's extended into another stainless steel section there. There is uh, lots of lights built into the roof of this so even if you're here in the evenings it's still going to be a lovely comfortable area and then a opening sunroof here as well so it lets just a little bit more air in if needed as well as extra natural light. Uh, more natural light comes from these side windows and each side does open as well. Move up to the helm position so on this you notice it's got a newer uh, Simran chart plotter it's got bow thruster engine hours are around 550 so nice and low uh, everything that really you're going to need for boating at sea or indeed in land if you wish. VHF radio, CD uh, slash radio player there, uh, Furuno for the radar, all of your gauges, your normal rev counters, uh, water tanks, fuel tanks, bits like that. Uh, trim tabs and it's an EVC control so it is the, the more corner modern controls. Um, let's take a look downstairs now as well. So now we've walked forward of the cockpit downstairs into the main accommodation area and uh, one thing you notice is because they move the galley upstairs you're going to get more room in here for this social space as well as the bedrooms. So you've got this lovely u-shaped seat here, this area actually extends as well so you can infill this and have uh, somebody sleep on this berth as well. Storage built into here as well as a nice window there so you're still going to get natural light and then just in front of me there's the opening to the cockpit and that's a nice wide um, section as well so that lets in natural light to this area too. And we'll walk forward and you'll find the master cabin. So in this cabin you've got uh, a double island bed because the, the forward section tapers in it means that you actually do have full walk around room. More storage built into the side of the bed here as well as a hanging locker just here and then two really useful units on either side of the bed as well as storage underneath and then this whole section actually will open up and give even more storage so you've got pretty much most of the berth area to store um, clothing or whatever you need on board. The bathroom is en suite to this bedroom but it's a Jack and Jill door so it serves as the main day heads as well so that opens just through here and we'll show you this area from this side. So in there nice light area you've obviously got a window in there with blinds for privacy uh, electric WC you've got the shower mounted onto there and the curtain comes from this section and goes right the way around here so when you've got the shower curtain on even if somebody opens the door if it's not locked you're still nice and private in there 
this is the second cabin and this so it has a really clever little feature in here the actual berth is a standard a twin berth but this particular one has an infill so this section here infills and you can make it a full double if you wish so you've got the option for either or twins or full double and that full double is wide i know a lot of people um, will use this as the master cabin because it gives you a really nice wide bed uh, another hanging locker in here window through that side and another window in this side which looks out into the saloon so just again more natural light sometimes these berths that are sort of semi under the cockpit can be a little bit dark but it's not the case on this particular boat and we'll go and uh, take a look at the outside next so now we've made our way up to the bow of this Alcoa and first thing to point out is this huge sunbed area so this basically is almost width of the boat and you're going to get loads of people on there to enjoy the sun. From a practical perspective, this little section lifts up and you've got the escape hatch for the master cabin there. Loads of room at the front here, non-slip decks, which is a very safe practical feature. Electric anchor winch at the front, stainless steel everywhere and that nice wood finish going across the side decks as well actual side decks are nice and wide so you're going to be able to walk up and down there no issue and um, nice high side rails so from a safety perspective again this boat is covered um, looking at the top view of the cabin there you'll notice the wooden handrails again just another nice feature as you're walking along the side deck you can grab onto those as you go so here we are in the engine bay of this Arcoa. This area is located to the aft of the cockpit and she's fitted with the Volvo Penta D4 engines, uh, 520 horsepower in all, which is more than enough for this boat. Actual condition in here is fantastic, so lovely and clean. The engines look very well looked after and access is really good. So you've got enough room around here for your general engine checks as well as normal uh, maintenance. Um, you've got an auxiliary engine, this is a Mercury 2.5 and this is actually for the tender at the back but it's always good to have an auxiliary engine on board lots of storage at the back here as well so if you've got extra bits you want to store in here when the boat's not underway you've got that option and we'll take a look over here because there's another nice little feature so as we go over to the starboard there's another little locker now this locker has drainage and traditionally this is used for fishing activities but also it's practical from the perspective of if you've got wet ropes or wet covers or something like that you can put them in there while you're going around and they will drain off in there no problem you're not going to get all your teak uh, wet as you're going so that is us finished on our walkthrough of the Arcoa Mystic 39 thank you for watching as always if you have any questions or comments at all please comment on the video and we'll be very happy to answer those remember to subscribe to our channel because we put out regular walkthrough videos and other videos on our latest listings and thanks for watching.